Hello Cancer, welcome to Echo Catcher Tarot. Thank you to all my viewers, all my subscribers. I appreciate you guys so much. And if you haven't subscribed, please do that. And if you don't hit the bell icon when you subscribe, then you won't get notifications on your device. So that's kind of nice to know. And it helps the channels uh, that you watch on YouTube if you subscribe to them. So this is going to be reading for the 8th to the 14th, 2020 of May. May 8th to May 14th, 2020. And please remember that you can't connect to everybody out there and the masculine and feminine energies are vice versa. So here we go. I'm going to pull the Whispers of the Ocean Oracle cards for you first. 37. Look beyond the surface. Avoid becoming distracted by surface issues. Focus on the underlying motivation. Cause or beauty in a situation. Seek ways to bring depth to your world. So you know how we judge books by their covers and people the same way when we see them. We can judge them by one certain thing that we just disagree with that we would never do. This is saying to not do that. To just look beyond the surface. Maybe somebody new, new is coming into your life or a new job or something. So it says to not judge somebody like that. Look beyond the surface. Get to know the person or the situation. Seeing both sides. Take a step back and try looking at this from a different perspective. So hammerheads can see 360 degrees around them. That's crazy. So look beyond the surface and then seeing both sides. So they're talking about both these cards already. There's something you're not seeing that um, you need to pay attention. And sometimes it could have to do with your emotions. It could mean there's something with your emotions you're ignoring that isn't good for you. So I can read the cards and you decide where they apply to you, if they do at all. So the next one is 38, Shedding the Old. There is a change coming your way. Cultivate a sense of adventure so you will be able to see these new prospects. So this is a lobster has an exoskeleton and they shed their exoskeleton and get bigger when they grow. So this tells me you have new opportunities coming towards you, but it's not going to be easy. You have to be willing to shed a lot of old things about yourself, maybe a lot of old things about your life, when you go into a new life or a new job or a new self. So be aware of that. So look beyond the surface, seeing both sides, and shedding the old. When one door closes, another door opens. When we release old energy, new energy can come in. And we should always be releasing old energy. And always new energy should always be coming in. So, okay, now I'm going to switch to the Mystical Cat's Tarot deck. The first one is Sky King. This is somebody who's been observing you and watching you for a long time. They just watch you. And I don't know why. They just like to watch you, I guess. Oh, this is the lovers. This is, could represent Gemini in your birth chart or around you. Fire Kitten. Fire Kitten is somebody who's taking a chance, who plays with fire. They're getting ready to do something that's not good for them. You can get burned by fire and they're not thinking about the consequences. They're just going to do it anyway. A Disguise. So somebody feels stuck. They feel trapped and they feel like things are going to get worse. And this card says they're not going to get worse. That it's more in your head you're making it worse. If you just need to stop, think of A, B, C, plan A, plan B, plan C, maybe pros and cons. Calm down though mainly. Take deep breaths. It's not going to get worse. Your thinking pattern is is not good. So this is the star card. This is an Aquarius in the traditional tarot, but because it has the lion in there, it represents a Leo to me. So if you have Leo placement in your birth chart or around you in your life, or you are a cusper, you're born when cancer changes to Leo, possibly. The day it changes. So three of fire is somebody looking to the divine, asking why things are the way they are. You really are asking the universe and wondering and, and really want to know why things are the way they are. 
Four of Earth is somebody who takes. They take, take, take. They don't give much. They just take. Sky Queen. So you had the Sky King and now you have the Sky Queen. But they're not related. So a female is watching you too. Or feel free to vice versa. The energies are just energies. But somebody else is watching you too. So you have two people watching you. And they seem kind of nonchalant the way they're watching you. Like, oh, whatever. Ace of C is true love. This is true love coming your way. Nine of Earth, something, you're going over a lot of stuff that's happened in your past and you want to move into the future and there's things you don't want to take into the future with you. You want to leave behind in the past. Eight of C is usually my conceited card. Somebody who only likes name brand things, they only like nice things, they're all about money. Money, money, money. But I've also said... A lot of these cards have two meanings. This could mean that you have to hold your head up high to get through a tough situation. Everybody's going to think you're acting conceited, but really you're just trying to get through a situation without falling apart, if that makes sense. Ten of Fire is you having, you're done with something. Something that has to do with a lot of drama, you're done. You can't deal with it anymore. Earth Queen. Earth Queen is somebody very opinionated, very set in their ways. It's their way or no way, usually. they I hate to say it, but they're usually older, mature, and they're just very set in their ways. They don't understand why everybody doesn't do everything their way, the way they do everything. Five of Fire. This is bickering, people not getting along. And the tower. The tower happens when something has to end so it can rebuild itself. This means something, the good explanation to me would be like a house of cards. If you build a house of cards and you blow on it, it's going to fall down. This is what the tower is for. When you have something in your life that's not secure and you're not noticing it and it has gone on way too long, the universe will step in and give us a tower moment to jar us and figure, okay, you need to change this, you need to do that. They won't let us just keep going on and doing nothing. Or they try not to anyway. So this is a chariot. This is a message coming in, a new direction in life, a new beginning, traveling. Very nice. So I think I'm going to switch to the Chakra Wisdom deck now. And you have Eight of Coins. Eight of Coins is you thinking. You're going over stuff in your head and you're thinking about how you're going to do certain things you're going to do. Something you're going to do, you've got to figure out where it's going to fit in, how it's going to work. So you're almost like planning and organizing something. Princess of Coins. This is somebody young, somebody naive, and, but very loving. Honest and naive, very practical with their coins. And young and naive isn't an age. You, it is more of a personality, you know, a, a trait. There's another word I'm trying to think of, but I can't think of what it is. The Empress. The Empress could mean a couple things. This could mean you need to forgive yourself for something or you have forgiven yourself for something that you did that you realized wasn't in your best interest. So this is forgiving yourself or somebody else just showing you they admire you and they're proud of you or telling you this, that they watch you and you handle yourself with dignity. The Empress. So Ace of Cups. This is love being offered. True love. Either you're offering it or somebody's offering it to you, Cancer. So Queen of Cups is somebody offering love. This is love being offered. And you had intuition about this or they had intuition. Somebody had intuition about somebody else. 
Two of Cups is uh, somebody wanting to date somebody, somebody finding somebody very attractive. They could look at this person their whole life. It's almost like they're mutual. They, these two people find each other mutually attractive and like their souls are entwined. King of Swords is somebody coming in to say something not nice. There's a lot of spying going on around the King of Swords, but he's coming in to like be done with something to either tell somebody something or deal with something princess of wands is again somebody younger and she's protected by the divine because you see the stag in there and the butterflies are new beginnings and the wand caducus is an opportunity hmm Wow, this is kind of weird. So I just counted the butterflies in this Princess of Wands picture, which I've never done before. And guess how many are in there, everybody? There's nine butterflies in there. How many months does it take for a baby to be born? Nine months. This is not typically the card for a baby being born. But for some reason, like I said, they stood out to me and something said count the count the butterflies so I feel like some of you and what is that in there in the there's like an orb back there too so yeah wow that's amazing okay and the Queen of Wands is your next card and this is opportunities and somebody who has intuition so somebody has intuition about something so if your partner or you feel like you might be pregnant, this might say that you are correct. You have intuition. But this is also um, self-worth. Somebody who knows their self-worth, and they won't let anybody treat them less than. So, that's good. The Ten of Cups, this is happiness. Oh my gosh, a couple that is happiness and bliss. Cancer, woo, 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 wow. I'm not sure what's going on here, but some of you might be celebrating. So Queen of Swords, she's matching the, do we have the King of Swords? Yes, we have the King of Swords. So we have the King of Swords and Queen of Swords. And this says that they're both pretty much protected. They have the dogs at their feet. So something's going on. These two are protected. There, I feel like the guard is up. These two will not let anybody come around them and hurt them, hurt their foundation. What they got going on. Beautiful. I hope I'm right. I have no idea if I am, of course, but that would be awesome. So Three of Cups, again, is peace and harmony in the home life. At home. Happiness. Peace. Justice. This is saying that everything will balance out. So if you're stressed out about what what just came up in this card, just stressed out about anything else, this is the balance card. And you had yin and yang, didn't you, in the beginning? Or maybe that wasn't this reading. Um, yeah, I don't think it was, you guys. But yeah, this says right here that things are going to balance out. This could represent a Libra as well, but things are going to be fine. Look at this. And then the world, and uh, did you have this over here? It's hard to remember when I do so many readings what came out, what did it. So look, she's wearing a wedding dress in there. That's amazing. So this is all the chakras, and she has a light at the top of her head and her crown chakra. This is all the chakras. This is beautiful. I'm really picking up a lot of what I'm picking up. You know what I'm talking about? And I'm trying not to go too much into it. So Knight of Wands is somebody coming in with an opportunity. I feel like he could be coming in to say something. He's very emotional. Very, very emotional. So Ten of Coins is birthright, um, inheritance, somebody passing some family business down to somebody else. This has to do with birthright, your name. Seven of Swords. So be aware there's jealousy around you, vindictiveness, just people spying, jealous. The high Priestess, beautiful. So the High Priestess knows things, and she tells people like it is. She's blunt, and a lot of people don't like that. She's equal to the Emperor, even though there's an Empress. The Emperor can be known as narcissistic. 
Some people think the high priestess is kind of narcissistic. But it's just the way some people have to be to get through life. They appear one way to people who don't really know them, and then to other people they appear totally different, which could have to do with look beyond and seeing both sides and shedding the old. Maybe you're, somebody is going to change during a process here, and you have got to see both sides of the situation. You cannot break down when this other person is going to need you to be their rock if that makes sense. So I'm going to switch to the Soul's Journey lesson cards now. Oh, And we have fear. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. So don't be scared, Cancer. Don't be scared. It's all going to be fine. It's sad, though, that you guys are fearful. The outcome of all choices in life is determined by two emotions, fear and love. Your soul is made of the energy of love and fear is an earthly manifestation of a challenge. To embrace and wallow in fear is to go against your very being. Fear in its many guises is the obstacle that your soul uses to test its tenacity to stay on track. For a soul, human life can be very difficult. But acknowledging that your soul's true nature is love will always help you on your true path. When fear rears its ugly head, it is really an opportunity for you to stare in the eye and turn that down into trust. View it as a teacher. What lesson are you going to learn from these fearful emotions? The more you use the energy of love to diffuse fearful situations, the less often they will present themselves. And then the next one is... Love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. So, fear and love. Are you scared of love? Are you scared to have a baby? What is going on here? So, I'm not sure, but you have nothing to fear. You know this. I'm trying to find this card, and of course I cannot... And of course now I can. So here it says, You are love. It is your inherent vibration. The obstacles and challenges of the physical dimension attempt to trick you into thinking there are other ways to view life. But there is only one way that is natural to your being, love. This card simply reminds you that your soul is made of God's pure divine vibrational force of love and that you need to bring His awareness to bear in every aspect of your life and being. Love is a healing energy. All anxiety and drama cannot exist in the aura of love. Most souls have come back upon this earth to learn, accept, and utilize this harmonic force and to see its effect upon their lives. Beautiful. Live in the power of love. Okay, now I'm going to pull the angel and ancestor cards for you. Two of those. The first one is Water Guardian. Connect with your emotions. This is real special meaning to me. This I can't believe this. This is usually sitting out on my desk, and I put it back in the deck because I was going to use it for these readings, and I contemplated leaving it out because it has special meaning to me, and I said, no, it goes in the deck with the rest of the cards. So I'm happy it already came out. Take time to understand how you really feel. Know that your sensitivity is not a curse, but a gift that allows you to receive and understand messages directly from your soul. This is really serious. Cancer, wow. So, your angels want you to know that it's okay to feed, feel the emotions that are surfacing in you at this time. <clears throat> Excuse me. It doesn't matter if they're joyous or sad. They're all powerful messengers that allow you to understand what you want and need. Taking time to breathe and acknowledge them lets them flow through you rather than crashing down on you as an overwhelming wave. Note there are also intuitive psychic messages arising in you at this time and unless you acknowledge everything as it comes up you may miss important guidance that can lead you to support and love. Oh, this is beautiful. So yeah, um, let me see. Water is an element that is in your blood, your tears, and your flesh. The water guardian represents the angels of water. 
who can help you dive within to understand. So if you're crying or you're feeling sad cancer, think of the guardian, the water guardian, because she's right by you. Lord, take charge with authority. So let me see what this says, because I haven't seen this one in a while either. And it's interesting now that this came out with the one that I really like, so I'm curious to see what they say. Who came out with her? Don't be afraid to charge to charge or use your voice. Wow, and you had fear on there, didn't you? And this one says, don't be afraid. Be strong. The Lord is the consort of the Lady, the Emperor, and the traditional tarot. He represents an authoritative male who isn't afraid to lay down the law. But he doesn't mean he is angry or chauvinistic. He is self-possessed, reliable, ambitious, a man of honor who has earned his place in society. The Lord in this oracle holds a ram staff and wears a crown of antlers, showing he keeps himself firmly rooted in the ground and is protective of his people. Sorry, I got an itch. Uh. Um... His regal air indicates he has a taste for the finer things in life, yet he is sensitive to those who are less fortunate than he is. Beautiful. So you've got a water guardian and the Lord. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to pull the fortune cookie. I have a fortune cookie with a love fortune in it, and I remembered to pull it for you guys, which it's hard for me to remember. I'm getting a bit more used to it. It says, Absence sharpens love. Presence strengthens it. That's your fortune cookie. Wow, so thank you so much, Cancer, for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. Thank you, Cross Watchers. Thank you, subscribers. Bless you, Cancer.